What's up, crew? How you doing? I am exhausted. I am absolutely beat. It is 8.54 in the morning. I plan to get up at 6 a.m. every day that, uh, this week, but as some of you may have no, uh, seen at the end of yesterday's vlog, I talked about how I just could not sleep Sunday night, um, and that was because I was thinking about yesterday's storyline and ended up not going to sleep until 1.30. The positive to that is while I was, you know, not sleeping, I was writing out what I wanted to do. So now when I'm editing, it's going to hopefully run smoothly. The negative is that I have less than an hour right now because I need to go work out. Neil's going to start warming up around 10 and I need to be there around 10, 10, 15, probably by the latest because uh, he does take a while to warm up. Master's athlete. Hopefully I can get everything done because my goal is to, as always, get this uploaded before noon every day because I don't know what the uh, science is behind you know posting time, but I like at least having the previous day of vlogging uploaded the next day prior to noon because it just it doesn't flow right if it's not done that way so i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna shut the heck up and uh i'm about to just whoop this in the booty let's go so hopefully what i've got set on my camera is good uh, kind of looked like i had a fingerprint on didn't get all that i wanted done shocking uh, first it took me like three minutes to figure out what song I was going to use, which I had a couple of options that I liked and ultimately picked the one that was in my head when I wrote down sort of the script or the, the storyline. And then of course I should have known, should have realized, remembered whenever I'm editing sequences that are music based, that are creative, that takes me forever. Forever. Beginning of yesterday's video was the sort of coffee row uh, breakfast sequence. And it legitimately took me 40 minutes, I think, just to get that one minute done. A minute edit. That's like, that's interesting to, to sort of say out loud because typically like on the business side of things, when I'm quoting uh, potential customers and I tell them, how much it's gonna cost and they go wide-eyed. It's like, well, you gotta realize how much work really goes into a specific type of production. So anyways, heading over to Extreme, gonna get the workout in, definitely late right now. Uh, I told Neil that I was finishing up an edit. He usually takes a while to warm up anyways, so I'll probably be rolling in towards, towards the end of his warm up, and I'll start got mine, because I need to get my calves right. I'm about to voodoo floss the hell out of my calves and foam roll the hell out of my lower body because I am sore. Last week, literally every day, we were running. Neil is getting heavy on the conditioning. Great because I can feel it in my, my capacity, but terrible because my lower body is actually seizing up. Gonna hit the gym, no idea what today's workout is. I could probably look it up, but I, I just haven't jumped into that app in a while. We're using uh, Beyond the Whiteboard now to share the workouts with members and then of course for Maddox method if you end up jumping on the programming online programming you'll see that there of course links down below if you want to check out Maddox method but yeah let's uh let's get on into the workout <laughs> oh. oh my god I don't know what's happening in there and I don't like it. ow all right I'm going home <laughs> Oh, they got off the bike and went to the burpee box jump. Yeah. <laughs> they couldn't take it on the box. They were like, whoa, where did my legs go? Some dude box rollovers, do a burpee, and they're just like. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that'll carry over though, because like last year, what was it? The handstand push up roll doesn't follow through. Like they don't they do not do the line on handstand push ups at regionals yeah. in the games. Or do they? What, what was it? There was something they. They didn't uh, carry over from the open. I think some of the rules in the open are so that they can visibly see easier reps on video and for amateur judges. Okay. Boss. Pop in the hip. Yeah. My glutes. 
the fire. It's good for bedroom action. <laughs> what? Oh, the camera did though. <laughs> Only way to keep the head top is by activating the boots. That workout was absolutely terrible. I have no idea how long the video card or the uh, SD card lasted because uh, I obviously wasn't paying attention to the camera. I picked it up to move it to put it on a second location and noticed that the screen was off and I was like, ah, did I forget to hit record? Flipped it back on and it was zero minutes left on the SD card. So no idea where it left off. I haven't even checked it yet. I was about to go look right now. Uh, but that workout included the assault bike, burpee box jump overs, and overhead squats. And the structure was sort of a chipper style, but you ended up revisiting um, the assault bike. So you did the assault bike twice, and the box jumps just changed to remove the burpees on the second set. I'm not gonna share the details. Neil doesn't want me to do that. Oh, folks. I have to get used to this camera. I tap the screen. It's touch screen, but it's not like the same as what Canon is. And when you t tap it, it cancels autofocus for some reason i think but anyways neil doesn't want me to share the details of the workouts because it is a paid program and if you do want to try it out you can check the link below uh, maddox method tried to pace the assault bike and it didn't really help much i still finished i mean i finished probably a lot longer than what i normally would with that number of calories but uh, it didn't really help me get into the burpees any better than if I would have just tried to crush the 50 uh, calories in a minute and then get to the burpee box jumps. Um, I probably would have just rested for about the same amount of time that it took me to finish the, the assault bike. Still need to fine tune how I approach those types of workouts. And then the rest of it was just like, just keep moving. I didn't rest too much, so I'm excited about that. Um, but I did try to crush the assault bike on the second go and I got like halfway through the calories and had to stop because I was just like <gasps> dead. I wish that was on video. Um, and then <clears throat> I ended up just kind of like cruising through the last bit. Good workout and second week of sort of trying to get back into a, a rhythm. The only speed bump is going to be tomorrow. I have a business podcast, which will be the first big man media daily grind i think is what i'm calling it uh title right here pretty stoked about it it's basically just the premise is sitting down with uh local entrepreneurs business owners maybe one day expanding it to not local like not not just san jose and sort of getting their perspective on owning business and the first one that i'm going to be sitting down with is uh someone i met at sps gym his name is ray hensley he is coming out with a fitness apparel or protective gear 
company with weight belts, wrist wraps, straps for weightlifting and stuff like that, kind of hitting all the different markets with the different styles of belts. I'll actually be getting a belt tomorrow, which I'll show you guys. Uh, it's a Velcro leather hybrid, which is super cool. So excited about that. So that's in the morning, typically when I work out with Neil. And if we can get done around 11.30, 11.45, I might be able to make the noon class. If I don't, I'm either gonna have to get my together and work out in the garage or go do one of the night classes, which I'm not opposed to, it's just not as easy. Tomorrow's gonna be sketchy. Thursday is supposed to be a rest day and I do have an infusion and we'll be driving up to Fremont and possibly staying up there for a doctor's appointment with Sarah. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a secondary ultrasound to check on some things. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am expecting baby number two. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you knew that already. But, uh, which <laughs> reminds me, you don't see this every day. This is a, can you see it? That is a disk drive. Basically the health industry is so behind that they still put all the information that they collect in an ultrasound onto a disk. So the only way for me to get that onto my computer is to have a disk drive. Luckily it is USB. Um, the really cool thing about this is I have a stack of DVDs in my, I call it the time capsule storage bin. And a lot of that is what I lost when my backpack was stolen with my three to four terabytes of hard drive space. A lot of stuff from the past. Still won't have my wedding footage, my uh, honeymoon footage, and a lot of other stuff that was like between the times of not using disks anymore and only using hard drives. So, but I'm excited to finally pull some of that old, old, old stuff that I have on those discs. There might even be some old footage of me with my first cameras, which will be an awesome and exciting sort of evolution to show on Big Man Media and on here. So I think that's it for today. I've done a lot of talking. I think this is going to be a fun part to edit as usual, but uh, I hope you enjoyed today. Thanks for watching. If you're new, you should subscribe. Join the journey. There's a lot to be seen coming up soon. Going to chronicle my ulcerative colitis and the recovery from, you know, trying to get off medication. So if you're into that, that'll be something. Also going to be chronicling the weight loss journey because I'm getting back into it. And we'll see where the competition side goes. I'm, I'm not trying for regionals, but I'll try to do some throwdowns here and there as I have time. Because I, I, I love doing that stuff. It's just fun. And if you're not new... Leave a comment, let me know what you think about these videos, if you want to see something different, if you have any questions for me, if I can cover a specific topic throughout the day of a video, I'm down to do that as well. And of course, to help the channel grow, hit that like button, share this video. I know it can be kind of weird to share this type of video, but that really does help grow the crew. If you've got friends who are interested in the, like following someone's journey in fitness, in smashing a chronic illness, in just generally doing all kinds of crazy things, share it. And uh, till tomorrow, I'll see you later crew.